Hello everyone and welcome to this week's extension quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make your extension work in both After Effects and Premiere. So this is actually a complex and a simple process in that to make it actually appear in both programs, it's rather easy and to make it work in both programs and function the same way, it's a little bit more complicated. So I have this uh, extension here called Motion Pack, which just allows you to import some really useful elements. And if I load up Premiere and go to my extensions, you can see that there's no motion pack. So let's go ahead and first allow it to be seen by the application. Now, in order to do this, we need to load up the manifest file that's associated with it. So if I go ahead and load up my CSXS manifest for this extension, you can see here under the execution environment and host, we have After Effects version 12. All we need to do to make it appear in a different application, or in this case, Premiere, is add another host. So I'm going to insert a host and the name of our host for the first attribute is going to be the name of the application. And the code for Premiere is P Pro, Premiere Pro. And then the version is going to be the minimum version you want it to function in. So say you put in version 12 of Premiere Pro and the user only has uh, version 11, they won't be able to access this. You'll want to go ahead and decide which version to use based on the features you're using, Perhaps you're using a brand new Premiere Pro uh, method or uh, scripting idea, and it's only available in the newest version. This is where you would specify which version is minimum. So for me, I'm just gonna put in version 11.0 uh, and save. Now, in order to update these changes, you need to restart the application. So I've gone ahead and closed Premiere, and I'm gonna open it back up to see the changes. Whenever you change something in your manifest XML file of your extension, you want to restart the application. So I'll go ahead and open up a random project. And now as I go to extensions, we'll see motion pack uh, is now appearing inside of Premiere. So that's how you can get it to appear in the other program. And if you wanted, you could go back in and say, maybe remove the After Effects compatibility, save it. And as you relaunch After Effects, you'll see that it will no longer be openable. So all you have to do is add a host and the version number you want to make it appear in the program. Now to make it function the same is a bit more complicated and can vary depending on what your extension does. What this particular extension does is translatable to both applications. When you go ahead and click on one of these elements, it imports it into After Effects and loads up the composition and opens it up. And essentially we need to have that do the same thing in Premiere. And in order for us to change and make it work the same in both applications, we need to open up whatever JavaScript file your extension is running. So I'll go ahead and navigate to that. Mine is called After Effects, even though now it's a two program compatible extension. And in my case, the function we're looking at here is Mogurt import. This is the main function that imports the elements into After Effects. And I also already have the Premiere uh, code written. So essentially what you need to do is uh, using a previous method that I explained in a quick tip tutorial called get app name, which if we go find, is just going to give us which application we're in. What it's gonna do is check the app.project.num items, which is a method only available in AE. So what it says is if we check for the num items and it returns null or undefined, we know that they're inside of Premiere because that's not something that is supported by Premiere. And if it is not null, if it brings back something valid, that means we're in After Effects. So we're gonna return AE. So using get app name, we're first gonna check basically what application we're in. And if the case that it's AE, we're gonna go ahead and run this code uh, that does the AE import version of it. It's gonna uh, use the AE specific scripting code that will import the items, open up the composition and let the user then modify it. If the case brings back Premiere, I have a separate function uh, that will import Premiere and uh, do the same process inside of that, which of course is a little bit more complicated. Uh, I have to make a custom function and different methods to import things in Premiere because the way you import things in one application will vary from a different application. So that's actually gonna do it for this quick tip tutorial, guys. I just wanted to quickly go over how to make it compatible for both applications. Basically, all you need to do is add a new host to your uh, XML file or your CSXS manifest and specify if you want Premiere Pro or whatever application, as well as the version number. And then inside of whatever uh, script code you have that runs all of the main code and runs the importing or whatever your extension does, you need to have separate cases for each of the applications you're running. So what you can do is 
basically look for a method that is unique to each of the programs. In my case, we wanted to check app.project.numItems. So it will go through all of the items and return how many we have. But again, if we check that same uh, method or function inside of Premiere, it doesn't work. It will return null. So that's how we can tell what program we're in. We look for program independent methods or program independent properties that will tell us, hey, you're in After Effects because only After Effects can do this, or hey, you're in Premiere because only Premiere can do this. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, be sure to leave a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below and the bell icon next to it to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly, Monday and Thursday. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. And in the description, you can follow me on GitHub as well as Instagram to be updated on new projects and code right as they come out. Thanks again for watching, everyone, and we'll see you in the next one.